The movie starts with a woman named Adele Tasca, who drops off her husband, Dr. Tasca, at his office. As her husband waves goodbye to Adele, her brother-in-law, Vito Tasca, greets her, and they both begin talking in the parking lot. When Dr. Tasca enters his office, he notices several envelopes at his desk. Dr. Tasca opens an envelope with a scissor, which causes a massive explosion, and the building catches fire. Adele Tasca gets startled when she hears the sound of an explosion, and she realizes that her husband is dead now. When Adele attends the funeral of her husband, where three men in suits try to approach her. Later, Vito follows those men while they are leaving the funeral service, and he takes out his gun and starts firing at them. Soon, he succeeds in killing two men. Unfortunately, Vito dies in the crossfire. Later that night, Adele reaches her residence in a police car, and when she opens her door, she realizes that someone has broken in at her house. Her stuff is scattered all around the place with the drawers open, and someone broke the lock of the safe and took some documents from it. Before she could register what happened, a man approaches her and informs her that she might be in grave danger and that they would like to have her somewhere very safe. The next day, Adele visits her bank locker and takes out some papers, which she hands over to an FBI agent secretly. She then visits the U.S. Department of Justice office, and they read the evidence given by her, which states that millions of dollars worth of painkilling drugs marketed by Stegno Corporation were contaminated. Now, years later, the people who took those drugs are dying of cancer. She adds that her husband worked for eight years with Stegno chemicals. He left six months ago with the evidence against them and asked his wife to give evidence to the FBI if anything happened to him. The chairman of the Justice Department, Mr. Hall, informs Miss Adele that a criminal was paid to kill her husband, and her brother-in-law shouldn't have taken the law into his hands. However, Adele gets annoyed by how long they will take to arrest the real culprit, Mr. Carl Stegner. Mr. Hall informs Adele that Stegner is the third richest man in the world, which is why it's impossible to arrest him easily. They have evidence against him for fraud, tax evasion, and bribery. They were about to arrest him, but Stegner left the United States, and unfortunately, no country in the world would send him back to them. Mr. Hall offers to provide security to Adele, and she informs them that two days ago, Stegner's security chief, Leo Gellhorn, gave her an air ticket and offered sanctuary on the island of Antigua. Adele advises them to take the help of a man named Jerry Fannin to arrest her husband's killer. Mr. Hall knows about Jerry, who used to be a bounty hunter and provided services to them in the past, and he used to work with Sal Heyman. Now he is retired, but Adele urges Mr. Hall to contact Mr. Salman to convince him to help in their case. The next day, the FBI takes Mr. Sal Hyman while he gets off from a plane and acts sick to fool the judiciary to avoid cases against him. The FBI agents forcefully take control of his ambulance and convince him to ask Jerry Fannin to work with them. Mr. Hyman then agrees to help them in exchange for immunity in his criminal charges. He meets with Jerry the next day at breakfast and shows him a picture of Carl Stegner. Hyman informs Jerry that the Department of Justice wants his help in bringing Stegner back to America, and in exchange, they will give him a clean sheet. Later, Jerry and Hyman meet with Mr. Hall and his team, and they give Jerry some files about Stegner. Jerry is shown a movie about Stegner, and interestingly, there is a strange fact about Stegner. No one knows how he looks. He always avoided being photographed, and the only picture the FBI has is from his 20s. After several criminal cases against him, Stegner left the USA eight years ago to live in England. He then left England three years ago to live on the island of Antigua. Jerry is shown pictures of close associates of Stegner, which include Paul Halpin, his secretary and business advisor, and Harry Coleman, a lawyer. Dr. Felix is Stegner's personal physician and always accompanies him because Stegner suffers from a blood clotting disease. Jerry is specially warned about the head of security called Leo Gellhorn. If he thinks anybody is after Stegner, he will kill them immediately. Jerry then decides to meet his identical twin, Eddie, and gives him a passport and relevant documents so that they both can travel to Antigua. Meanwhile, Miss Adele also arrives at Antigua 
and is welcomed by Stenger's men Halpin and Leo. They talk about the murder of her husband and the killer who had an eight-year-old son who died of cancer, and he blamed Tosca for the contaminated drugs. When Adele's brother-in-law killed that man, things became dangerous, so that's why they wanted to protect Adele. Hyman informs Jerry that Adele suggested his name for the hunt of Stegner, and she is in Antigua now. That night, Jerry confronts his old partner, Catlett, during a bank robbery. Jerry informs Catlett that he is offered a job with a lot of money, and he wants some help from Catlett. Catlett agrees to help Jerry in arresting Stegner in exchange for $100,000. Soon, Jerry arrives in Antigua and books a hotel room in the hallway and spots his ex-lover, Adele. On the island, Jerry meets with Manly Reckford, who informs Jerry that Hyman ordered him to help Jerry with anything he wants. Reckford adds that Eddie is staying at his place, and he brought a gray car for Jerry and put his secret stuff behind the back seat. Jerry takes the car to a secluded place, takes out his necessary stuff, and that night, he goes outside Stegner's villa. He climbs a pole and places his spy device on top of it. Jerry meets with Catlett and asks him to contact Manly Reckford to assist him in getting inside the villa. The only way to get inside is by a garbage truck with the help of Reckford, and Catlett should get some photographs from inside. Leo and his team check the information about new arrivals on the island, and they find nothing suspicious about Jerry Fannin. However, his meeting with Manly Reckford makes him suspicious, and they decide to investigate him further. Meanwhile, Jerry meets with Adele and taunts her that they have met after 12 years. She left him to get married to a doctor, and now she is here to get revenge. Adele corrects him by saying that she wants justice and wants help from Jerry. Stegner's security team watches the meeting between Adele and Jerry, and they feel suspicious about how these two know each other. A few minutes later, Adele informs Leo about their plan, and he makes sure that Jerry succeeds in his mission. But they plan not to make it too easy for him, as Jerry is a clever fellow who might suspect if everything is too easy. The following day, Catlett enters the villa according to the plan and succeeds in getting pictures from inside. They check the garbage from Stegner's villa to find his medicines, which would indicate his presence inside, but they can't find anything. Later, Adele is being chased by a man, and she gets rid of him by acting like he harassed her. She then arrives at the cruise where Jerry and Catlett are staying. She informs them that, according to her information, Stegner is not on the island. They look at the photographs of two of Stegner's men named Oscar Bailey and Lester Wallace. Jerry states that Stegner has a serious thromboembolic condition, so he has to take farium soda and regulated doses of medicine. However, no cans of soda or other used medicine were found in the garbage from Villa. Additionally, the personal physician, Dr. Felix, hasn't been seen on the island in months, which means they might be hiding. Adele advises her fellows that they can't get inside the villa, so they should make a plan to get the residents outside. That night, Jerry and Catlett secretly get inside the villa. At first, they mess with the security camera, but soon, they encounter a security guard with two dogs ready to attack them. Jerry shoots them with a tranquilizer, and they get to the main building. Jerry and Catlett put explosive material inside the rooms and set a fire, which blows the whole building apart. The staff calls the fire brigade, and Catlett immediately changes his avatar into a firefighter. He gets inside the villa's private rooms and starts scanning the surroundings. Later that night, at around 4.30 a.m., Jerry and Catlett arrive back at their yacht. Catlett informs them that according to his investigation, Leo, Halpin, and Kalman used three rooms. He didn't see Kalman exiting the villa, so the others might have used a protective cover over his face to make it seem like Stegner. Due to the fire today, the associates might be nervous and make mistakes, so that would help them locate Stegner soon. Jerry then realizes that it's 4.30 a.m. and Adele should be back in her hotel room or people might suspect her, so he asks Catlett to drop her near the hotel. Leo and his team notice Adele's absence, and they send a representative to bring her to them, but Adele refuses to accompany the guy who takes her forcefully. When Catlett notices Adele being kidnapped before his eyes, he jumps in to save her. Catlett takes Adele to a place where Jerry is waiting for them. 
However, Catlett is being followed by Stagner's associate. They get rid of the man by stopping their car on the side of the road while Jerry puts explosives in the criminal's car. Soon, an explosion is caused, and the man who is near the car gets injured. Later, the injured man informs Leo that he got attacked by a black man. So Leo assigns a task to his team to find out about a black guy who doesn't belong to this island. While Adele and Catlett are out shopping, suddenly, they are approached by Bailey and Lester, who forcefully take them to the yacht. Jerry watches this scene carefully from a distance. When Lester goes out to get their stuff from the car, Jerry attacks and kidnaps him. Jerry kills Bailey while they take Lester as their hostage. Jerry leaves the yacht and asks Adele and Catlett to meet him at Orange Bay. He goes to Reckford's residence, meets his double, and asks him to leave so that everyone can see him leaving. Later that day, Jerry, Catlett, and Adele sit down in yacht to investigate the calls from the Stegner Villa. According to their information, six unusual calls were made to Curacao. Jerry wants to confirm his suspicion by asking Lester, but Lester refuses to cooperate. So they hang him up in the sea and smear blood on his face so that sharks can eat him soon. At first, Lester doesn't cooperate, but later, he realizes that he must inform them that he is supposed to meet Stegner on the weekend in Curacao. They soon reach Curacao and are greeted by their accomplices, who make pre-arrangements before their arrival. While his friends go for rest, Jerry is informed that Charles Felix loves to play poker and cockfights. He lives in Williamstown, about 20 miles away from here, and they are given his address. When Felix visits the town, he stays in a Plaza Hotel 14-floor suit, which Stegner uses for his staff in Curacao. Meanwhile, a meeting takes place in the Plaza Hotel, where Stegner and his team discuss their plans to move from Antigua to Curacao. Later, Jerry brings a new dress and shoes for Adele, as he wants her to join him at the casino tonight. While at the casino, the host informs Jerry about a man named Dr. Felix. At the casino, Adele proudly wins a lot of cash during the games, and when they arrive at their residence, they meet with Catlett. Catlett informs Jerry that he found all the information about the security arrangement of Stegno Corporation at the Plaza Hotel. Furthermore, Dr. Felix will be at a place called Avia for a cockfight. During the cockfight, Adele manages to get attention from Felix, who follows her. Adele lures him, and soon her team kidnaps him. They take him to the Plaza Hotel when Jerry wants to go first and asks Catlett to join him after five minutes. Jerry enters an elevator and gets inside the building. He manages to get rid of the security guards, and they reach the floor where Stegner is residing with his associates. Jerry warns Leo if they try to act smart, he will kill them and Stegner. So they all cooperate, and Jerry manages to kidnap Stegner. Adele and Catlett bring him to Antigua, and then they go towards Miami, where the U.S. Department of Justice officials are waiting for them. Before they can board the private jet, Leo and his associates start attacking them, so Adele and Catlett are left behind while Jerry and Stegner leave for Miami. Leo kills Catlett by blowing up his yacht, while Leo takes Adele with him to an unknown location. While in Miami, a group of armed men dressed as police attack the car containing Stegner. They kill him immediately, and the U.S. Department of Justice officials scold Jerry that Stegner died before they could officially arrest him and that it's all his mistake. Soon, Jerry realizes that the man who died can't be Stegner as the man took a few painkillers from them and survived for eight hours, which means it wasn't real Stegner. Jerry then remembers that when he kidnapped Dr. Felix, he found a medicine bottle in his pocket, which indicates that Felix is the real Stegner. Jerry rushes back to Curacao to avenge Felix and bring him to justice, so he goes to his residence and makes a plan to enter. Meanwhile, Adele acts cozy with Felix and feels proud of his wealth and power and knows that he is the real Stegner. Leo overhears their conversation and warns Felix against Adele, but Felix is so charmed by Adele that he doesn't suspect her. Soon, Jerry enters the residence by breaking in with a truck, which destroys half of the building. He confronts and arrests Felix and takes Adele with him to Miami. Several loyal men of Stegner try to rescue him, but Leo stops them. They let Jerry get away from the residence before they start following him. 
Jerry asks Adele to drive while he gets rid of the unwanted followers by blowing down their vehicles. As Adele, Felix, and Jerry reach the yacht, Adele turns against Jerry and hands over her gun to Felix. However, when Felix is about to shoot at Jerry, she distracts him, and they handcuff him. Jerry asks Adele to put some petrol on the deck before they leave, as he notices Leo and others approaching them. As they get away from Doc, Jerry shoots at Doc, and Leo and his associates get caught on the fire. In the end, Adele attends a party and sets her eyes on her new target, who is the world's third richest man.